Right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm mainly making this video before Friday comes because we have the last teaser before the official 1.0. And I want to get this video in there so I can get my final thoughts on what is going to happen with this trailer and what features will get added to 1.0 just so we can kind of come back on this later and go boom we got it right basically um so good morning good afternoon and good evening and i want to give you a massive thank you for the love and the support that you showed myself and total eclipse on the recent video you guys seem to have enjoyed it i don't know obviously from total side but from my side from what i can see you guys killed it we broke records especially with the premiere 871 of you we peaked at, at in the live stream um, watching that thing and oh boy did it was it was mind-blowing so again thank you for the love and the support and not just that just over the years five years i've been making content on this game now like again thank you right so the first thing i want to talk about is the uh blueprints which is which i believe i'm going to do as the thumbnail and title of this video and i do believe there is going to be a tier two and a tier three or a mark two and a mark three of the blueprint machines the mark ii is either going to be six by six or eight by eight the mark three is either going to be eight by eight or 12 by 12. obviously the, the size doesn't matter but i do believe second and third blueprints are going to become becoming sorry snutty kind of tease it at the end through this video that you'll see me touch on some subjects that me and total kind of talked about in the previous video but i wanted to get my final say so and what my predictions are before this video so like i said we can come back to it and just say yay we got it boom bada bing bada bosh so mark 2 um and a mark 3 bl blueprint i believe we'll get them you know mark 1 kind of where it kind of is now um 2 and 3 we'll get one in 5 and 6 then we'll get another one in 7 and 8 maybe it'll be 5 and then 7 um potentially um, the reason I think we're going to get another Mark II, uh, while well, we're going to get another, uh, we're going to get another blueprint is because of the quantum encoder. It's a big boy building. We have some big machines that we might want to use inside the blueprint. And the quantum encoder from the original trailer, you can see, is six and a half foundations long and it's three and a half foundations wide. So it is a big boy and it won't unfortunately fit in the four by four blueprint maker we have right now next up i want to touch up on bases in regarding to the blueprint because as we know when we put one blueprint down now and then use a second blueprint to connect the belts or pipes together the items do not run along these and this i think has been an issue that has been resolved for 1.0 because if you look i put a things on there they stop there and because that is where the blueprint connects i do believe this has been addressed for 1.0 and this goes with pipes to allow fluids and all that kind of stuff to progress through so you can kind of connect them and span them and work them all together i don't know how it will work with power uh because floating power connections uh, might be a bit weird so you might have to power them uh, but i believe belts and pipes will be able to be connected because there is a mod that allows this. So if it doesn't become a feature in 1.0, I would highly recommend downloading that mod when it comes available and updated for the 1.0 updates is to use that and get it connected. So you don't have to do all of this and whatnot. But again, I believe this is gonna be a fix for 1.0. So the next quality of life feature I think they've added with blueprints is vertical nudging. Because as you know, if you press H right now and you've got the blueprint being aimed at the ground, you can kind of move it around. But the one thing you can't do is vertical nudge. So lift and lower and that kind of thing. I believe that has now been addressed in 1.0 also. Not as likely um, fixed or added compared to the belts and pipes but i do believe that um this will more than likely be coming also but i'm not as confident on that than what i am with the belts and pipes the next thing i wanted to talk about was the summer sloops because this has a big question mark in it right now just because it was shown at the end of the teaser uh with the whole lasers and kind of the whole extraction and what are we going to get from it and here is my final theory so hopefully we can look back on this off uh, well after friday i believe the summer sloops are going to have a very very special play on the uh, on our production and power lines so hear me out what i think it's going to do i think we're going to put a summer sloop inside this building that we kind of got shown and this building is going to be a radius type of building kind of like how the radio uh, towers kind of show us the whole um or on the map and everything right but what this building is going to do it's going to boost our production lines and our power 
The reason I say this is, is if we go back to the actual old wiki, we can see there are Mark II variants. And before I even touch these Mark II variants, just look what's in this for those that don't know. We have the Dark Matter. We also have the Quantum Crystal, which is now known as the Dark Matter Crystal. We have the Sam Ingots, which you kind of know about. The Sam Fluctuator, which, as we know in the trailer that recently Snut showed, you can kind of decrypt this from the voice. Hence the reason me and Total keep talking about the Sam Fluctuator. And this was talked about in Total's video. We've also got the Rebar Scattergun, the Rifle Mark II, and all this kind of stuff. And then if we go down a little bit further, we have the Converter, which has just been announced. And the Converter was a building that could convert any two raw resources into any one raw resource of the player's choice. The answer has been here the whole time. The Hadron Collider, now known as the Particle Accelerator, Industrial Lighting, which originally wasn't in the game. Powered Walls, possibly Wall Connectors, because they wasn't originally in the game. Quantum Encoder, which is where I got my theory from, regarding the quantum encoder and then we've also got the remote storage which we'll come back to later on in revolving mercy spheres and as you know we've already just received the mark 6 belts which is kind of theorized in here but uh yeah we'll talk about some of this stuff later on but back here to the manufacturers i believe that these new summer sloops are going to be a way to turn our buildings into kind of like a mark 2 variant without the coffee stain devs building new models which are going to be more time consuming so i feel like they've just gone i wouldn't say the easiest way around i feel like it's a bit more of a cool way um is just to add the furry dust particle effects coming from the building when you put this building down the summer sloop goes in it it just powers and does lasers and sparkles and in that radius it's then going to boost your production by somewhere between 10 to 25 percent and the reason i state this also is because maybe they are stackable you might be able to put four within a radius to create 100 percent, or you might be able to put two in a radius to make 50 percent uh it's not going to be a big radius as what the radio tower is um you can kind of see here the assembler constructor foundry manufacturer smelter um can do 25 percent to 50 percent faster if it's going into a, a a machine it's going to do that and it's going to have the particle effects on the machine kind of like how we saw the constructors in the recent in the very quantum teaser trailer but then we also see the power connectors kind of glowing and i think that is because the power is being boosted by this tower so i think that's where that's coming from so if it's sparkling the machine that's being boosted if it's being um the power that's being boosted it's something on the lines of that but it is what my definitive answer is is a summer sloop goes into machine machine gives off a radius that is what i'm doing and i'm saying it's 10 to 25 percent within that and that is my final summary of what i think that building is ignore the 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 kind of like potential of the glowy stuff and thing but it's kind of like speculating on that the summer sloop goes into building building emits radius that then boosts production um but also to power more than likely to power which will give us like i said the 10 to 25 percent next up mercy spheres i want to put this in here as well uh before friday's video is mercy spheres we're going to go into the the mam um it was actually total that brought this attention so i don't want to take credit for this um total did say what did you think about maybe mercy spheres being that unknown thing and i totally forgot about that so credit to total um um, he did put this thought into my mind, and I do believe that we are going to get the Mercy Spheres in the MAM, um, and it's going to be giving us teleportation. This could be personal teleportation and personal storage teleportation. Um, the easy topic of this one is personal transportation. I think it's going to be more of a late game kind of thing, uh, but it, if it's in the MAM, we could get it potentially whenever, but I, it's going to be more later game because we can unlock it and, but we're going to need some of the quantum stuff maybe to unlock some of the buildings and ex uh, more than likely uh, superposition oscillators. And it's going to be a A to B uh, transportation system. So you will go down kind of like how drones work. So if you just think of a drone platform, put it down, you choose the location um, and then that is where it will go to. And then it's going to be a backward and forward between them two. So you will have to create a teleportation hub uh, sort of thing, unless, which is a little bit crazy, uh, of a speculation is if there was some form of ui um or the map comes up and it you, 
you click on the map of where a teleportation hub is. So you go to the hub, you open it up, so actually you press E on it like you would at a building. The map comes up, and when the map comes up, you click on another teleportation point and it'll tell you. The only problem I doubt that's going to be a thing is because if there's teleportations in close range with each other, kind of like what you can see with trains, it could be a little bit hard to kind of pick and choose where you want, but then that's a personal problem, not a game problem. And then obviously the teleporting of items. It's something I've kind of been on the fence about um, because, you know, uh, teleporting things around the map could be a little bit eh. But then again, it's a personal choice. So if you want to do it, you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it because you might love your logistics. But I believe it's going to be one of those that will help fix a solution in regards to your factories from transporting Thing from A to B, maybe in the same location or somewhere across the map uh, that could potentially uh, cause bottlenecks with trains or whatever you're using for transport. The other option to the personal storage kind of thing uh, is the um, teleporting storage is to you as a uh, pioneer directly. So you put down a building, the items that go into that will then come into your personal storage and you'll get access to it, either via a tab in the inventory system or it just extend your inventory and they'll have maybe a different color behind what you have in your hand what you picked up and what's in the personal storage so tldr on that mercy spheres go into the mam the mam has a teleportation uh, system um and then we can either uh we'll get the option to teleport as a pioneer to a to b and b to a um and then we'll also get the option for personal storage where we can teleport items either from a machine to another machine and uh, not a machine to another machine but a storage from another storage and then storage to your personal inventory and then next up uh, is i want to talk about the maybe the fixonium or a I, uh, with the new fuel uh, i do believe that we're more than likely going to get a new way of spending this fuel either through jetpacks uh, as a new personal kind of fuel and uh, fuel for your vehicles uh, your trucks and your drones um, which have longer way longer battery life okay so i'm just going to inject myself here this is editing bits by the way um i'm currently editing the uh, video i'm just listening to myself back and one thing i did kind of miss off that is with the ikea lamp what if potentially that can go into your jetpack as unlimited fuel it's a theory it's a kind of mini dyson sphere so it kind of makes sense maybe more than what the biofuel does but it could also give you the bio the liquid biofuel properties with the turbo fuel kind of properties mixed in but this is kind of a one of them ones kind of thinking outside the box so don't take me anything on this but maybe it's one of them speculations that's an extreme long shot but and the last thing uh, but not least my story prediction the story i do believe is just going to be in regards to just creating a ship don't know the ins and outs and i do feel like it still has involvement with what has happened on earth and we are sending items up to a ship that ship delivers stuff back to earth um for whatever they're doing which is either surviving a illness uh surviving um the end of days um or something on the lines of that and that is my basically kind of like five predictions before this video comes out. I did want to touch base on one more thing though, uh, because I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to this, because I can't do a guide on it just yet. And that is the best place to possibly start. And the reason I can't touch bases on this yet, because we don't have the evidence. I could only go off assumptions of what we kind of know in regards to the general nodes. And honestly, I do believe a lot of the starting locations are going to be balanced pretty well yes you're still gonna have there's basically there's pros and cons to every biome there is either high purity nodes but then there's terrain what you've got to fight against or you've got no terrain you have to fight against but then low to medium kind of uh nodes i don't believe there is a specific specific area that is going to overpower another place or all that kind of stuff yeah you're going to have your fan favorite because of color the color palette i mean in um location just the the visuals uh, and all that kind of stuff so everyone has their own preferences i do believe we need to look and investigate into the rocky desert because the rocky desert is for me not the best looking place sorry hannah and team um but it's just not the best looking place for me um uh, it does have a lot of new coal there maybe potentially that could be a good starting location because you've got all that coal you've got all that water saves you going up to the crater lakes and you've got some decent nodes there you've got quite a bit of iron quite a bit of copper and then you've got the quartz cave and then that link into the northern forest i feel like it's going to be a very strong point uh, but we can't really tell this is why i can't really talk about much on this right now because i don't have the evidence 
uh, to give you more feedback on a decent starting position. But I do, I highly recommend this, um, and please take this um, as a note. I think you should start again. I know how hard it could be to let go of a save. You know, you don't have to delete it. It's going to affect your, uh, your your production lines that you already have, your, the the rareness of your ores. So you'll have to reroute. If you're in, like I said, tier three, four, um, you might have missed vital story information, especially early on in the game, um, that you might not understand what's going on with the story. You just wait, hold on a minute. I've got a, I'm, I've currently just loaded into my save and tier five. I've got a big massive freight ship at the top of the project assembly um like what is going on here so like i feel like if you're not really bothered about the story you know go ahead but i'm, I'm just kind of recommending it it's kind of like the grand finale you know 1.0 here go for it again smash a full playthrough you don't have to worry about then foliage going through because by the time you clean up your save potentially you could have got back to that point anyway um, and maybe does some better designs and you might be like oh hell yeah i'm glad i saw it again but i'm just saying i i feel like it should be it's entirely up to you at the end of the day um but my recommendation is to start again and just have a blast because we're all going to be having a blast so i can't talk about more about the the starting locations because i don't have the evidence i don't literally have the evidence um but anyway that's basically what i want to touch on today um hopefully i did this video didn't drag on but thank you so much for watching um i think the next satisfactory video now is going to be a special video because i'm doing a i've done a playthrough of one hour to 1000 hours and it's gonna be a mega movie so be prepared for that because oh boy this editing for this video of well for that video uh as it's i've been working on it for like two months it, it's still not even it's only like halfway done so and i've got like a couple of days left so thank you so much for watching keep smiling and check out my other content right here somewhere so, somewhere around here but yeah see you in the next video it's still a shit game <laughs> Still the shit game.